What up everybody, welcome to a video I have been highly anticipating, possibly in a negative way. Why? But this video I'm basically contractually obliged to do because in this video I said if it hit 20k likes I will do it and guess what? It's got 61,000 likes. Because you guys absolutely smashed it out the park as far as you can possibly see. I'm gonna set a new like goal on this video, which is 30,000 likes. If we manage to hit 30,000 likes, yes, setting the bar a little bit higher, but I have complete faith in you guys because you absolutely smashed the last one. I will do the 10% <laughs> trade up contract for the best dragon law in the entire world. It certainly will not be cheap. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure to hit that like button. For today's video, I have taken a very long time to collect everything I possibly need for it because it's just not available out there at the moment. These are my classified factory new Stat Trek weapons with exceptionally low floats that I will be using in the contract to hopefully get the number one fire serpent in the entire world. However, you may notice there's only eight items in here. One of them being the number three Stat Track P2000 Ocean Foam in the entire world. But that leaves us two items short. The reason we are two items short is because they're just, they're like ridiculously overpriced or they're just not available. So I have decided, well I say I, I mean we really. Your boy Kill Screen Music Kit once again with the hookups. But that is the reason I have this restricted factory new storage unit where I should have just a little bit over 30 items and hopefully we can turn these items into the two classified stat track items that we need with only one option above to give the best chances we can possibly get in the trade-up contract. We need them. We hit this and number one float in the entire world. Gungnir. <laughs> Oh my god! Absolutely ridiculous. And we hit this. Number one Glock fade in the entire world. Bah. Oh! Absolutely ridiculous. I would be lying if I said I had like super high hopes for the factory new Fire Serpent. Three in a row, I've already pushed my luck. But before we hop into the huge bad boy Fire Serpent trade-up. When organizing my inventory, I saw a whole lot of these. Colonies and Bloodshot. Basically all in field tested, but what is above them is the Orb Containment Breach. And that is an expensive weapon in Factory New. So I'm thinking maybe I can scam the system a little bit by using some colonies and then some using some really low float skins on top of that. Ideally, we would like the Containment Breach in Factory New. So let's just chuck all of these random, random items in. Hope for the best. 40% of the contract is from the collection we want, and then it's a 50-50 on that. So I'm guessing it's 20% for the containment breach. But then again, we do have this Desert Eagle Hypnotic, which only has one option above it, so that will be increasing our chances. Let's stop talking, let's do an orc containment breach. That's what I want to see. Let's go factory new. <laughs> oh, it's not a containment breach. But the fact it's in minimal wear is pretty bad. <laughs> Our last contract's YOLO item was that lightning strike on the Desert Eagle Hypnotic. This contract's YOLO item is going to be the M4A4 Asimov, which I am a big, big fan of. So Parla, get him out. Yeah, thank you. Get out of my way so I can press that proceed button. Let's go. Orp containment breach. Or M4 Asimov. Sick. <laughs> Only one item as well from that collection in there and it actually hits it. Oh dear. That means we're using our luck early on. And that looks like a pretty good condition one as well. Let's do a little cheeky blue gem trade up as well. So we'll get the emerald pinstripes in. Our dark waters are going to be what's used here for the shot at the blue gem. The arms deal one collection. Final item is going to be this first class because we could possibly get an AK-47 jet set from that, which would be so cool. But blue gem trade up, here it is. Three out of 10 of the items, only three out of 10 are the arms deal one collection. And then we got one for the jet set. So I'm thinking like 40% to actually get something we want. We could end up hitting from this and getting the Desert Eagle Hypnotic, which would suck a little bit. Or we could get this car pattern AK-47 blue gem. Who knows? Let's find out. Boom. Oh, that is the worst possible outcome you could ever think of. 
This is what our contract is going to look like. Pretty crazy contract considering I put the first class in there. Once again, for the jet set opportunity, I wasn't happy with that last contract. I need that jet set. Wild card number two, we've got the Kronos in here. And that is for the M4A4 Poseidon. I'd be very happy with that outcome because I think a factory new Poseidon is like a thousand dollars or so. The best possible outcome, once again, is the AK-47 case hardened Blue Gem Edition. Pretty please, Poseidon. Won't be upset with the jet set. Don't show me another Franklin. That's what I don't want. Did you miss me? Don't want to see that. Big rip. We seem to have our bad luck out of the way, right? That's how it works. So let's retrieve everything in this storage unit. And the plan for this contract is going to be a 60-40. Six of the weapons from the collection that we actually want to hit. I really wish when you retrieved items, they would like appear right at the very top, because that's the reason I put them in there, to organize them nice and neatly, so I didn't have to check the float of them every single time. But I guess that's what we're doing. Checking the float every single time, making sure it is very, very low. Rereading my chat with Kill Screen Music Kit. Not his real name, but I'm just gonna keep saying that to promote his music kit. He wants me to do a 6-4 trade-up in favor of the Cold-Blooded, which means six from the Arms Deal 2 collection, which I actually happen to already have, and then four from the Arms Deal 3 collection. Let's do it. Let's Okay, a serum. I think a serum still works just fine. Let's look at the flow. 0.001. Yeah, that should do. Once again, six of our Arms Deal 2 collection. I have such a random mix of floats in my inventory. I'm having to be exceptionally careful just to try and make sure I do not mess up here. I might actually make this one a 70-30. Cold-blooded would be great, but I think serum is just fine too. Oh, I'll take it. And the float of that one is 0.002. That is sick. So now we should have enough items which means it's time to retrieve these from the storage unit goodbye my friends my ridiculously low float friends this new serum definitely have to check all those floats 100 percent even if it says new i'm still checking those floats putting you in here 900 dollars deagle probably cost me even more than that because that's an old name tag get in and then these last two stat drag P90. Oh wait, no, we're missing one more item, which is it? I think it's this electric hide, even though it's 0.05. Does that have a... Wait, I need to check that that is right. I've worked it all out in that contract and manually input all the floats and numbers myself. I feel like this electric hive might be screwing us a little bit because that just doesn't seem right. And the fire serpent we get wouldn't even be number one. So let's do another restricted stat track, incredibly low float trade up because I think I have enough items for it. And then we can replace that electric hive with a very low flow item and then see if that makes the difference or not. A 70-30 arms deal 2 collection Lego. Okay, sick. Let's try the contract with this 0.00013 called blooded and that is looking a lot better. Our fire serpent would be 0.604 and the very best one in the world 0.0606. We have done it. We finally organized the contract in a way where we will actually get the number one if we hit it. So it is time. I really hope I got everything perfect in this. I've checked it and I've double checked it and then I've checked again. This is what the outcome of our contract looks like. A 64% for the blood in the water factory new. I just have the biggest feeling that we're about to see that skin and I really really don't want to see it because I've seen it so many times in my life. It's just gonna pop up and go eh, eh, and I'm gonna be instant depressed but it's all about the dream. It's all about the 9.09% dream. I have no idea what the best number one factory new stat track fire serpent AK-47 in the entire world would sell for, but I'm imagining as it's definitely not a cheap skin as it is, it's gonna be expensive. Actually, I should just ask Ziffle, shouldn't I really? Who pointed out that in my Kenny S video, what I was saying was the best sticker position wasn't even the best sticker position, which once again furthers the point that my skin knowledge is not where it should be. You stupid. We don't have time to wait for him to reply either, so I guess I'll just put it in the title. You guys will know how much it will be because I'll put it in the title. It's time, isn't it? It's time. This, I've literally been fearing this moment for weeks on end and I have been preparing for this moment for weeks on end. Having to create a whole bunch of the items that I am using in this contract and then having to source the ridiculously low flow items that I have sourced. And this is it. 
It's cost me so much money and so much time and effort. <laughs> that scout is really going to piss me off. But let's go, guys. Let's go. This is it. This is the moment everyone has been waiting for, including myself. Let's give it a little countdown for the number one fire serpent in the entire world, shall we? Three, two, one. Thank you so much for playing my game. What the actual f is my luck, dude? This is just silly. This is the si no, wait. We need to check the float. We need to check the float. Is, is is going on dude i don't my brain cannot fathom three videos three videos in a row i now <laughs> i now own the number one fire serpent in the entire world uh, i don't I, I don't have any words i don't have any words what is going on why gaben gaben <laughs> what Nine percent. This is just so, so silly now. How have I hit three videos back to back in a row? Ten percent for the best float items in the entire world. I think I might be having a seizure, guys. I cannot fathom the reality of what just happened here. Number one fire serpent in the entire fucking world. And we got the number one gung near. And we got the number one glock fade. What? <laughs> What is going on? I'm ecstatic. I, I may not seem it, but I, just because I'm a bit confused right now, I'm genuinely a bit stunned. I was like 99% sure that we were going to see that scout. And now I have the best float fire serpent Star Trek in the entire world. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please, <laughs> please slap a like on it if you did, because this is just absolute madness. I presume this video is probably going to be pretty popular now, and we're going to get that 30,000 likes that we need to attempt the 9% best dragon lore in the entire world, which we just can't hit. It's not possible. We cannot hit that as well. Three videos in a row of the 10% and we've hit every single one. I'm super shocked. And I think I'll just end the video here and then just like look confused in the corner of my room for about 30 minutes because... <laughs> what? Thank you so, so much for watching everyone. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Take it easy. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.